Taking a look at uh, what's uh, topping the trends list. First up, hashtag uh, Carling Cup. Of course, uh, yesterday, the season opener, as it were, uh, between Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. And Amakosi emerging victorious, as a friend of mine said to me yesterday. Well, they, they, they better emerge victorious, given that they went to the cap final. So, on penalties, but you know what? A win's a win. Yeah. So, a, a good opener to the season, Paul, good. of course. Well, I'm glad. I mean, that was a, that, 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 that's a good thing, so I suppose. But on penalties, so it's always fun to watch it right to the end, I suppose. It's a nail-biter. But how was the performance, though? Because I've heard about uh, a lot of people divided about what they thought about the players' performances. Yeah, well, it's, you know, early. It's, it's just before still the season early. proper kicks still early off. Days. Uh, there's still a bit of rust and cobwebs to be cleaned out. But... Um, also, I think uh, interesting to see some new names coming through. Uh, th that that's always a good one to watch. Um, then, of course, the if you have the penalty shootout, you have the goalkeepers coming into play. Uh, but yeah, a very, very 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 interesting one yesterday. But uh, looking forward to uh, the likes of Khatebe, you know, coming through maybe having a big breakthrough season this season we'll see fantastic all yeah. right well there you go that's the the big one and it's still trending very very much so this morning as we go through the trends list i mean whichever way you look at it carling cup uh, amakosi for life that's all trending there oh mohale and sumizi i mean i'm not sure that there's a more uh, a weekend that we don't wake up to another another addition to the drama of i, I think it would be interesting to actually do a search to see sure. if there has been a week, any week, where they have not at one point or another made the trends list. It's so true. It really is. I'm trying it's to. It's that letter. Oh, so it's the press statement. And the that press came statement. Through. Yeah. So look, it was a, it was a story that came out in um, I think it was was it the Sunday World that was doing this um, a, an article and it was very much so from Sumizi's side talking about uh, some of the things that he went through during the relationship. Well, before they got married and then during the relationship with Sumizi and some rather scathing allegations coming out about, you know, knives being pulled and car chases and being uh, driven off the road and, you know, stories of, 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 you know, just not very nice stories to be... From Mohali's side. Definitely. So that was yeah. completely from Mohali's side. And then, of course, Sumizi came back with this letter. Indeed. And um, very short and sharp it reads, Mr. Sumizi Mklongo has become aware of allegations allegedly made against him by his estranged husband, Mr. Mohali Mutaung, published in the Sunday World newspaper on the 1st of August 2021. And given the severity of the allegations, Mr. Mklongo has referred this matter to his legal team who are best equipped to handle the matter moving forward. No further comment will be given until such time uh, deemed necessary by his legal representatives. Mm. All right, well, there we go. So we wait to see on that page and leave that conversation there. Ah, Simbine, it was just such a such a sad finish for him. But but goodness me, I mean, the fact that he made it into into the finals with such a strong, strong standing and what a race that was. It was absolutely incredible to watch. So we, we all sat down to watch it. And then, of course, Great Britain had that false start and then they were disqualified from the race. And then it, of course, took off. But I mean, when you looked at the performances from uh, the US, it was China, Italy and South Africa just pushing forward. And and then of course you know that that was it just was not who would have thought wasn't to be that would go to Italy, Italy. who would have thought who would have thought well he didn't think so either no uh, nobody did I don't think anybody did <laughs> I mean we saw firstly there was that just before that the high jump had also been won by the Italians and I mean he had lost the plot completely he the guy who won the high <laughs> jump was absolutely <laughs> losing it having the time of his life and then he saw his uh, his teammate winning as well and then he ran on and just also. It was fabulous, a fabulous, fabulous day for the Italians, but not to be for the South Africans. So now we hold thumbs and pray that yep. I'll wait for Nika can get through there. All right. And the final one, hashtag Tira. Mm. So it won't open, Lebu tells us. Oh, no. It's been deleted. Oh, has it been deleted? Yes. Are you serious? Okay, so there's a video doing uh, the rounds, and DJ Tira had actually tweeted this video, and it was of a, uh, a festival that he was playing at, or a, or a club, or a, I'm not sure what it was, but he was just very, very happily sort of showing everybody dancing, holding their bottles of their favorite tipple, 
and uh, dancing, no masks, having the time of their lives. And then, you know, people sort of said, hang on a second, like, you know, this is not right. One of the, the replies was, uh, when we go back to level one, then you blame everyone except yourselves. And the response from DJ Tira was, get a vaccine. I'm not sure that's the, that's the solution to this, but I mean, just stick to stick to the rules, you know, just just stick to the rules. I don't think it's been deleted. I'm opening it on my phone, but perhaps it has been. Yeah, I'm, 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 the actual video is still there. I don't think he's deleted it, but because it, it is opening on my phone. But yeah, it was a big thank you to everyone that showed up at the Cosmopolitan Lounge last night. Another banger from whoever, Rockstar Forever. And uh, it's just a massive party that's being held. No masks, much more than 50 people. And uh, generally, people are not happy with this. So, no, I think you're right, Lebo. I'm speaking to my producer live on air. It looks yeah. like it has been has deleted. Been deleted. But I'm, I'm still, also looking. Yeah. I'm still able to open it, yeah. maybe because I, I had uh, I had looked at it. It's still I haven't refreshed my feed, so that's probably mm. why it's reclaimed. So, Good. those are your trending topics. Mm. Uh, SACP, the South African Communist Party, celebrating uh, their centenary this year, virtual celebration. Uh, we'll speak to them, you know, about uh, vanguard issues and the like. So all of that's still to come. And, and, and I see ESCOM has uh, just released a statement. I don't know if you saw it, Leanne. I did see something uh, coming through, but I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so I ESCOM basically it. telling us that Madupi's last unit has achieved commercial operation, marking completion of the project. So... Um, the uh, Eskom is pleased to announce that um, Unit 1, the last of six generation units at Madupi Power Station in Lepalale, attained commercial operation status and was thus handed over uh, to the Generation Division. And it commenced, of course, this project in 2007. 14 years mm, mm, to, mm. to complete. I'd be interested to know what the cost overruns were. I don't think you want to know. I actually do want to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>